You were managed by uh, Johnny V. Mm -hmm. How did that uh, come about? Well, for a long time, uh, before I lost the Intercontinental Belt back to Tito, for a long time, George Scott was a booker. He was kind of like putting me and Brutus together as tag teams. And and we do a lot, you know, just throwing us in there and against whoever. And and I, you know, I, I kind of had uh, sneaking suspicions that George was grooming us to be a tag team, which he was, but we didn't know about it. We just saw, hey, they just threw this together. And, uh, you know, it, it eventually ended up being... Um, uh, Jimmy Jimmy Hart was our manager, and eventually we had two managers. We because Jimmy Valiant was with Brutus, right. and Jimmy Hart was with me, and then uh, eventually they we had two managers, and finally they cut Jimmy loose, and Jimmy went with Bundy, and so we just had uh, Johnny V. Some of your other single matches, you said you worked with Andre. What was Andre like? Oh God. <laughs> uh, Andre, if you got him in a good mood and went out and wrestled him, it was okay. One time I kind of got him in a bad mood in a battle royal. And the Vince has even got the picture up, up there in his Hall of Fame wall up there in Connecticut where he was standing on me, on my throat. He, was just <laughs> he stood there for 10 minutes on me. Oh. And I was like, oh, geez, what I do, Andre? Now, eventually you and Beefcake turned on each other. I believe, right? Or what was it like working with him as, as compared to teaming with him? Uh, the only thing I didn't like about working with Brutus is he complained about my stiff chops or whatever, you know. Oh, you know, he cried, cried like a baby sometimes, you know. But uh, in fact, even now to, the, to this today, and we're good friends, but if we go wrestle at Independent, you know, and if I chop him on the... <laughs> Chops, you know, he's backpedaling, getting out of there. But there's a lot of guys like that that don't really like to mix it up. I enjoy that. But they don't. Bruce being uh, brought up with Hogan, and a lot of people didn't like Bruce because of that. Uh, but I think Bruce is a hell of a guy. Who were some of your favorite opponents in the uh, that t around that time in WWF that you liked working with? Uh, well, top of the list would have to be Tito. Tito, Ronnie Garvin, um, in tag teams, the Bulldogs, because we had some great matches with the Bulldogs. Um, and Pedro Morales. A lot, I really enjoyed working with Pedro a lot. Now, there's a lot of young guys up and coming in, in the BF around that time. I don't know if Sean was in there yet, but were the young guys cocky to you guys, the older veterans, or did they respect you? Well, actually, I was pretty good friends with Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty. Um, you know, I opened opened my doors to them, and, and uh, a lot of the guys were were uh, the older guys wouldn't talk to them. So I was one of the few that, that that did talk to them, and I liked Shawn and Marty at that time. You know, I don't, I don't know them anymore now, but I, I'm sure. In fact, someone said Shawn said to say hi to me the other day, Brian Knobs. But um, I like Sean. I like Sean and I like Marnie's. 